Station News this afternoon is the former Warminster Township police officer who turned himself in today, accused of sexually abusing four boys. Action News reporter Christy Aletto live outside the courthouse in Doylestown. Uh, Christy, you've got the details in this. That's right, Brian and Sarah is one of the victims who came forward last year that reopened this investigation. The alleged incidents happening between 1987 to 2009. Some of these victims as young as eighth grade and because of that time frame, authorities fear there could be more. Anything to say at all, sir? Step back, please. Former Warminster Township police officer James Carey turned himself into authorities Wednesday morning. Accused of sexually abusing four teenage boys, the former D.A.R.E. officer faces 122 counts of statutory sexual assault and involuntary deviant sexual intercourse, among a list of other charges. He was a veritable wolf in sheep's clothing preying on those who trusted him. An 80 page grand jury presentment says the incidents happened inside his home in his hot tub and even rec center bathrooms while in police uniform. Prosecutors say Kerry even had a co molester Chuck Goodenough who recently committed suicide. The pair volunteered with the Boy Scouts and the Warminster Department's Fire Explorer program. But this was not the first time Kerry had been investigated. In 2001, a then 17 year old reported Kerry to the Warminster Township Police. Lack of evidence and the fact that the age of consent was 16 resulted in no charges. The DA at the time released a scathing letter to the department. Saying that although Carrie was unable to be charged criminally, that his behavior and conduct caused her grave concerns about the safety of children in his community for as long as he was employed as a police officer by Warminster Township. Carrie's attorney claims he's innocent. My client showed up voluntarily both for the grand jury and for today's surrender and uh, he's innocent and uh, we look forward to proving his innocence in court. Now, Kerry has posted 10% of his $100,000 bail, so he is out. But again, authorities fear that there could be more victims and they're asking them to contact their office. news update to that breaking news story we have been following all morning. North Las Vegas police now confirm it was a Metro officer that was involved in an hour long standoff beginning last night near the Corn Creek area. Now police say that Brett Thiel was indicted yesterday by a grand jury on multiple charges related to child sexual assault. Well, Thiel was taken into custody and taken to a hospital to be checked out. Well, we'll continue following this story and bring you the very latest. In case you're curious, Corn Creek is up near US 95 and Centennial Hills north of there. Uh, a lot of people asking where that area is. Where the community is coming to terms with disturbing accusations. A veteran police officer is charged with raping a child. Police say the 13-year-old boy met Officer Carlos Vera online. Prosecutors say he didn't know that Vieira was a police officer, but then he saw him directing traffic during the Merrimack Valley gas disaster. WBZ's Lisa Greshi is live in Lawrence tonight with the latest. Lisa. David, this is Mount Vernon Park, where police say the alleged victim met the Lawrence police officer for the sexual encounter. They say the 13-year-old boy rode his bike here. Lawrence police officer Carlos Vieira did eventually have to show his face in court. Not before his attorney fought to keep him behind closed doors, though, arguing the alleged victim didn't positively identify Vieira. Until we do, putting him up here, for the cameras and everyone else to see him will be unfairly prejudiced. Prosecution detailed how the 13 year old boy picked Officer Vieira's picture out of a lineup not once but twice, and how he also identified Vieira on the day of the Merrimack Valley gas explosions. Police say as the boy was evacuating, he saw Officer Vieira in uniform directing traffic on Mount Vernon and Beacon Streets. When he had had the encounter, he did not know the person was a police officer. Vieira allegedly confirmed to investigators he was at that intersection at that time on that day. The intersection, a half a mile from the park, the two allegedly met in the summer. The um, <coughs> child was on an app um, called Grinder, where you um, communicate with other adult men. 
Police say the 13 year old boy set his bike aside and got in a dark colored SUV, and the two engaged in a sexual encounter. Investigators have seized a similar vehicle registered to Officer Vieira. My client maintains his innocence. Uh, he is a U.S. Marine veteran, did four years in the Marines, has been a police officer for 20 years, has had numerous uh, accommodation, including valor. Um, where he saved people. He's also been named Cop of the Year at least twice. Um, this will play out. Police say the boy's mother reported everything as soon as she found out at the end of January. And ever since, the DA's office says it's been under investigation every day. As for Vieira, he's due back in court on Friday and he's held without bail. Reporting live here in Lawrence, Lisa Greshi, WBC News.